I am so happy to be joined today. I know, I know three of us. <laughs> all three generations. Yeah. No, no, it's not all three of us. It's one, two, three, four. Well, <laughs> we do. We have Crystal behind the camera, which is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, so those four of us, not three of us. That's right. Oh, I see. It's three of us In here. In front of the camp. That's right. That's right. Because we're doing math, so so you understand, right? Thanks for joining us today. We thought maybe you'd like to get ready with us. And, of course, I didn't want to do this without Hi, Stephanie, it's Mia. the makeup I hope, professional. Do you know my <laughs> name? It's Mia, and my name is M-I-A, and I've been born, and... Jesus dropped me and Daddy cast me. Dan. Oh, <laughs> that's your testimony? Yep. I love it. That's a great testimony for a four year old. Jesus loves me and Daddy catched me. Well, she said her date of birth, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Jesus, oh, that's right. Jesus dropped me and Daddy catched me. Oh, Jesus dropped and Mama, you and Daddy caught you. And Mama and Dad, Dad gave me medicine when I was sick. Yes. They take care of you, don't they? Yep. Do you have a little brother? Uh -huh. What's his name? Roland. And is he the greatest thing ever? Yep. He is, isn't he? Pretty precious. You yep. playing with my hair? Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. <laughs> hey, your hair looks great today, Thank by you. the way. So we're I doing like a it. get ready with me because we Ooh. haven't gotten ready in a, in a long time. Well, you did it for the first time this weekend. Yes. Because I've been getting ready because actually makeup is something I love, but it started out because I was fighting depression when I was in my teenage years. Mm -hmm. And my mom, if you know my mom, she's like a lady who sleeps with pearls on. Mm -hmm. So she's always like done up from morning to nighttime. So um, when I was fighting depression, my mom, you know, was like, get up. Get ready get and just it changes your mindset, it you does. know. So for me, it was more helping my depression mm -hmm. at that time was to focus on something else completely. Well, you know, to think about that with what's just been happening with the isolation, solitude, you know, it's so it was so easy not to get ready. Amir, are you finding your makeup over there? Yes, yay! So uh, it was so easy just not to get ready, not to take off the sweatpants, not to take off the shorts, yeah. just no makeup, don't do your hair. But I began to realize that I felt better if I got it, put on my yes. makeup, brush my hair. And, and you know, I think everybody around me liked that better too. <laughs> no, she, she's so pretty without makeup. So, mm. you know, it doesn't do anything oh, for you. Like, it enhances your beauty. Oh, but you're really goodness. pretty without makeup. Well, you were really sweet. But <laughs> I, I, have, I remember in my 30s, one time Harry wanted to go somewhere, and he's very spontaneous, and I am not. And I wasn't ready. And we got a mile from the house, and I didn't have, I wasn't all ready. And I started crying. And he's like, what are you crying about? I, was, uh, I didn't have time to get ready. Because I had been so ingrained by my mom, you don't leave the house unless you're ready. Yeah. That I felt so uncovered yeah. without being ready. So I think there's a little bit of psyche involved a little soul realm involved in getting ready that helps right. you feel better about yourself. Right, yeah. So we're going to start out. I'm going to start out. I always start with this uh, Smashbox Primer Water. And the reason I start this out is because sometimes my skin's like really dry, especially because mm. we live in the desert. Yeah. So in order for it to not go into your creases, this base will actually make a barrier so it doesn't go into your deep oh, lines. Oh, I like that. And it'll make your skin look more, your foundation look more like skin versus oh, makeup. That's good. And it stays on. A primer is always so your makeup lasts longer. So it, I, I grew up in the house of a man who built houses, so you primed the walls before you painted exactly. them. Exactly. So every crack and crevice didn't show. Exactly. <laughs> and then you always cater towards your skin type. So mine's oily combination. So I'm oily in my T-zone and then dry around. So I will put this around and then I have pores, like most people do. Mm -hmm. And then I will put a pore primer in my T-zone to hide the pores. I, I do that too. I But I start with, you got me doing this because I love the sun, but I've never sunned my face in the last 30 years. So my face is as white as my shirt. Yeah. And so you got me using this. I love it. I put it on maybe twice a week just to, so my face is not tissue paper white. Yes. And I, and I don't look so drastically changed. And this is, um, tell me. What it's this. a Vita Liberata. It's a gradual tanning lotion. And this is perfect because even you wear this with no makeup, 
and it makes you look like you have some sort of base. I do this a lot. I know, and I I notice when you use it or not. I'll Mm. be like, oh my gosh, your skin looks amazing. You'll be like, I'm just doing that tanner. I put it on this morning, and I put it on about four days ago, and then in four days I'll do it again. And that way it doesn't get that tan look, but it keeps it from being just pasty white. Yeah, it matches your skin tone. I use that because even though I'm Hispanic, I don't tan, so no, you do. I I burn, peel, and then I'm back to peel. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm like the darkest, but I self tan yeah. a ton because you it's do. the only way I can get any color. So then I'll use this to kind of match my skin tone, which helps. Yeah, and it's amazing because our skin tones are totally different. Yes. but we both can use the same yes. one. Yes, which I love. I I have a lot of color in my skin tone underneath. I have a lot of blues. I have a lot of reds, uh, but you don't. You you have more uh, olive underneath your skin, is that right? No. Or pasty white. I'm neutral. Neutral. Okay, Which is good. the worst because makeup comes in yellow or pink. Oh. And I'm a neutral, so that's why it's so hard for me to find any foundation. So when you wear the wrong foundation, what what do you look for? Like somebody may be going, am I wearing the right foundation? How, how do I know what I am. Well, you look at your veins first off on your wrist always. So if your veins are blue, that means you're a cool tone, which means you run more pink. So you're going to look for the cooler makeup. Very, very blue. Yeah. All my veins show. And then if your veins are green, and see mine are green and blue, you'll Mm -hmm. see here. So that's why I'm a neutral. But if your veins are green, that's usually you have some ethnicity to you. Mm -hmm. So you have yellow Mm -hmm. undertone. So that's where you go based off the color of your veins. That's perfect. That's a yeah. good way to know. So my husband, Harry, who is uh, in, he's a Lebanese descent, so his veins are green. He has that yellow tone underneath, which is great. He, he has perfect for tanning. Oh, yeah. He never DJ, I it. just saw your message, and you said, what cell tanner do you use? It's a, it's a good one. It's hard to find. I know. Trust me, I've tried, no exaggeration, <laughs> over 40 and I look like an Oompa Loompa half the time. <laughs> so That's the hard. trick to it is when they are a red undertone, you're going to get that Oompa Loompa look. I always look for a blue undertone because then that goes to a neutral undertone. So then you look like a normal tanner. How do you know when you buy it if it has a blue undertone? Well, like I said, I use so much self-tanner. I'm like, that is my thing if you like, See, like my Instagram page, that's all I do is like beauty, makeup. So I'm always testing it out. So usually what I test out is, I know I'm a little over the top, but I'll take a a paper towel to the store if I didn't know, and I'll put the little samples, and you'll see it turn blue or it turn red. Right on the paper towel. Right on the paper towel. No kidding. So that's a good way to test it. But Loving Tan, I use a two-hour express one. And it's ultra dark because I, like I said, I don't tan. So I want that ultra dark. I want to look like I'm Hispanic, you know, (laughs) but I don't tan like I'm Hispanic. Mm -hmm. So I do the ultra dark loving tan and it's even good for you, for for the white girls out there. (laughs) I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it because I love the sun. And so unfortunately, I try not to love the sun, but... You know, I love the sunshine. I went through severe depression for a long time. And so the sun was my answer to get in the sun. The S-U-N and the S-O-N was my answer to depression. So even if I'm sitting in a window, I love the sun. See, and I'm the opposite. My mom has, like, the best skin ever. Well, she's the best. white. I she's love it. like, okay, in our wedding, <laughs> this mama told my mama if she was wearing white pantyhose. And I my mom's I wish- like... No, those are my white legs. <laughs> we were wearing the same dress, and I said to uh, Stephanie's mom, I said, I wish I had thought about wearing white pantyhose. Your legs look fantastic. <laughs> and she's like, those are my legs. Yeah, she's like this color. <laughs> Not my pantyhose. So, DJ, you said you have green veins. So when you go to the store, you're going to look for warm or yellow. So, like, I know too much about makeup. Yeah. My Lord, I need a life in this. <laughs> but, like, if you go to Makeup Forever, they'll say, why, whatever. That, that why is your color. Mm-hmm. If you go to a drugstore foundation, it's W. That's yours. W? W is warm. Okay. So okay. it goes for yellow. Okay, good. So in my Makeup Forever, mm-hmm. which is what I love, I sometimes wear a Y. And I sometimes, yeah, both of these are Ys. Well, you do run more Y. Even though you say you have blue, you don't. You right. have green. Well, and the thing is, you can't tell by my face because I've always got self-tanner on. Mm-hmm. So... It, you just have to find out what works for you. And I actually went into the store and had one of their makeup artists 
figure right. out because I kept buying the wrong foundation right. and kept thinking it made me look sick. And it was because I had the wrong undertone. I, I don't even trust the makeup artist because every time I come out there, and it's even your nieces, um, Jordan and Olivia, they have the same issue. They're just as pale as me. Oh. And they're like, I come out there and like the foundation's so dark. And then, like, if there's, like, a shade from 1 to 50, I'm, like, number two. Oh, I'm yeah. no exaggeration. Yeah, I'm like, it's true. It's so hard. It's true. It's so hard. And I don't match my skin because I'm so brown here. And I'm brown here year-round mm -hmm. because I've done it for so many years. So I match here because so I don't look But different. if you do that, you have to run your makeup from, you, like, this is what you need to keep up you're gonna look like you have a mask. If you go based off your color of your body, you're gonna look like you have a mask. If you're gonna do that, you have to run that foundation all uh -huh. the way down, even to your ears, because I've oh, seen yeah. girls where they pull their hair back, and then their ears are super white, and then yes. their face is really yellow, and it's like, clearly not oh, the yeah. right tone for her. Yeah, I, I use brush, and I brush my ears, and I brush down. That yeah. way I make sure there's no lines anywhere. Yeah. And I don't tan my neck either, so that helps. I need to run it down. Otherwise, I'm going to look like mm -hmm. my head is not supposed to be on my body. Yeah. Yeah. So then we'll start off. I'm going to do the primer. So then you, do you have a primer or are you going to learn I don't, about primer? I put, this, I put this on today. Okay. And then I already sprayed. Okay. And so uh, I have, I do a little different pore um, minimizer, and it's called the Pore Professional. And it's the one uh, you and Judy got me started on this yeah, one. Yeah, that's amazing. This I get this one. It's the dupe of this one because the professional could be expensive. Mm -hmm. I think it's like $28, $26. And then I get the next one. It's the Angel View. And it's a drugstore price. And I think it's like $7. So oh, wow, if good. you want to save money, this is that. Except this one has your skin tone in it. it versus does. this is a stark white. So I can wear this if I don't want to wear makeup. And I have done so that. So true. Because I'll put this on sometimes when I'm doing my little Bible studies every morning. And thank you all, by the way, for joining me. And I, um, my pores are right here where most people's are. And, but then I have, um, as you get 63, you have to pay attention to your face. I have one little pore over here that over the year, years it's come. And so I just cover it every day. I know right where it is, and I, I cover it every day. And then I have a little bit. I find it's not that I have so much pores here, but my makeup looks better and smoother if I do my chin. And you see this little line right here? And I know other people do Botox. I just haven't because I just I just don't. It doesn't do well for me. So I use the pore professional right over the crease. Oh, that's smart. And it helps. It, it doesn't take it away it diminishes it so especially if I'm gonna wear makeup so as you can see hopefully you can see I've got all my professional and it just smooths out your skin almost like I put a filter over that's smart so that works out great now you have a new makeup you want me to use today so it depends your skin tone but this is the, my skin super duper sensitive so anything I'm recommending you it will not break you out. And you can tell my skin is super sensitive because you can see where I'm putting the mask on, I'm breaking out like crazy mm -hmm. because that mask is just irritating my skin mm -hmm. beyond belief. Now, I, on the other hand, You have, can put dirt on your face. Yeah. I have what I call a, um, a mannequin face. Ugh. I can put makeup this on. This juggles so hard for where, you. <laughs> you know what I said? God knew what I was going to have to do. He knew every day of my life I was going to maybe cake your makeup off, maybe mm -hmm. not. I always have to be low maintenance with my skin and my hair. God gave me the right hair and the right skin to do what I've done for 40 yeah. years. So how so do this you... is Born This Way, Tooth Face, Born This Way. I like this um, foundation because it has hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. So it makes your foundation look like skin. Again, all my skin, I want my makeup to look like skin. I don't like the cakey face. Mm -hmm. It's very outdated to have that cakey face. So you want your skin to look like you want to peek through your skin through foundation because that's why i get a lot of compliments on my skin it's not because my skin's amazing it's because my foundation's amazing, amazing. my base is amazing. well you know what to do yeah and so, so this your beauty yeah, no so the born this way is really good um i'm gonna use drugstore version is l'oreal infall infallible 24-hour fresh wear so that's a, similar 
is so good for the drugstore. It is similar. Really? This is actually the only foundation that will not break me up. No. In the kidding. drugstore. People will always tell me, I'll be like, they'll be like, what makeup do you use? And I use Too Faced constantly or Makeup Forever. And I'll be like, can't you use like a drugstore? And I'm like, no, my skin doesn't like drugstore makeup. This is finally the Way. first one Yay. that is amazing. And I'm the shade Linen for L'Oreal. And then you're going to use Too Faced uh, Natural Beige just in case they're your skin tone and they want to know what shade to start okay. with. That's Good. why I tell them. And the, and the, thing about this is and you're so right I um as I've gotten older I've worn less and less and less makeup because I felt like the more makeup I wore which is a, a terrible problem of older people we think we need to cover more but it makes you look older it does so I've used less and less makeup the older I get particularly on the foundation part of my yeah. face and if you have more mature skin Creams are your best friend. Mm -hmm. Stay away from powder. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't use powder anyway because I have dry skin to begin with. Yeah. But I have. I when I use the right products and the right skincare, like I've been doing the last few years, I have no dry patches ever. Yeah. It's just that I don't have oil. So when I put my makeup on, it's there until I take it off. Yeah. So then what this one, what I do is I get this, it's a knockoff beauty blender. Cause the, so it's like this one. It's like that one, but this one's really expensive in Sephora. So, you know, when Somebody you're on a budget and you have kids, you kind of can't justify yeah. spending it on a sponge. So Somebody I get me this one. It's a great <laughs> gift. <laughs> um, I got these from Amazon. It came like five of them. And I don't, I don't remember. It's like under $15. So it works just as Yeah, good. and it's actually better because if you feel, hard. look, feel that. It's like. It bounces. Oh, yeah. oh, it bounces. Yeah. So I use this. And then for the foundation, what I always eat, you never put it directly to your face because, again, it's going to look like foundation. Mm -hmm. you got to warm it up. So you, some people have, like, a little mirror, like, specifically for this. I just use my fingers. It heats up the product. So then I'll go like this mm -hmm. and then dot it little mm -hmm. by little. Okay. So I should put it on my yeah. hand. And warm it up. And warm it up. Yeah. And then dot it. And then dot it. Because you always want to build up. You don't want to start. Now it, It's harder to fix too much than it is to fix too little. I left off one thing um, today that sometimes I do. Because I am 63 and I have some age spots, sometimes if I feel like those spots are coming through, I will use this um, concealer. It's Laura Mercier. I love it, Laura Mercier. And I, as you can tell, I love it because look how little I have left. But it doesn't take much, so that'll last me another six months. Yeah. And I just barely put it where I feel like I have a dark spot, and it'll it'll just hide that. I like Laura Mercier. I do too. It it, it is um it it never shows through my, no matter what. And I can even put it on, when I am uh not going to do anything else, and just blend it with my brush. So. Okay. We went to the beach, so this foundation color is actually too light for me right now. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I was like... Oh, I, it looks pretty, though. I do a concoction. I'm going to use hers. Use a little mix. Yeah, I'm, too, I'm bad to mix, too, because as you get a little more tan, and where we live, I, as I said, I don't ever tan my face, but uh, if we walk, and we do, if we walk, every time I walk, the sun comes up. My dermatologist told me this. It reflects off of the, of the road. Oh, and so yeah. you get you get sun whether you mean to or not. And so that's why you always should wear a sunscreen. And um, that sunscreen that I like is Leanne uh, Demers sunscreen. It's really good. And it only takes a drop. But it depends what kind of, because Leanne sunscreen breaks me out. Mm -hmm, it doesn't. Yeah, but, so it depends what kind of skin uh, type you have. Right. Um, the best sunscreen to use is a mineral sunscreen, a physical sunscreen. Because a chemical sunscreen will break you out. And if you look at the ingredients in chemical sunscreen, I, and the very, I like nutrition and organic and natural. That is who wow. I am. So um, there's actually an app called, I think it's called Think Dirty. I think that's what it's called. Let me look it up. We'll just pretend it's, like oh yeah, it's, it's not called, called Think. That. It's well, no, it's not. It's not. That's not why it's called. I know. I'm just it's saying. called Think Dirty, and the reason why they do it is you can go and. Like I said, I like really like nutrition and organic stuff and what goes into your body. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have like hormone issues and it's right. makeup. Wow. Makeup is the number one for hormone 
hormone disruptive wow. factors. So you go to this app, you do Think Dirty, and then you scan. So like everything has a barcode, and if it doesn't, you just put the name in that app, and it tells you what bad ingredients are in that wow. makeup thing and what it does to you. So it'll be like this chemical in this sunscreen is proven to give cancer. Oh, this, wow. So if you see physical sunscreens, way less toxic versus a chemical sunscreen is oh, wow. horribly toxic for your body. So it's called Think Dirty. It's an app, and you can just barcode, and it'll tell you what's in it, especially what's if in something's it, harmful. And they'll do it like, so red will code it as really dangerous for you to use. Okay, don't use it. Yeah, and then green will tell you, like, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's good. There you go. So I do that. For all my, I'm starting to transition all my makeup into that, but it's hard because you also, they're not really good. You also just said something I want you to reiterate. You said makeup is the number one hormone disruptor. Yes. Expound on that. Well, they say that your, what is it, your one largest organ is your skin. Mm-hmm. It's just so, our kidney. Yeah, and mm-hmm. they say it's your largest, the largest organ. Mm-hmm. That's why if you get garlic and you take off the peeling and you rub it on the bottoms of your feet, Mm -hmm. you could taste it in your mouth. Mm -hmm, That's how it proves that it absorbs Mm -hmm. everything. Right. So putting all this chemical stuff in your skin, people think it's just organic food. It's also what you put on your skin. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't use, my children have eczema, and this is why I got into the skincare field is because I had to learn because my kids. And And you studied it out and researched it out. And if you care about yourself, you'll take the time to research. And then I'm going to do... back of my hand looks fantastic now. Yeah, see? (laughs) And then the concealer I'm going to use is Dose of Colors. I do this one because I don't have to put a powder to set it. Like I said, I don't like powder. (laughs) So you put concealer on top of your base. I normally put it under. No. Really? Under is your fixing scars. Over is your fixing color. Well, I'm never fixed. I, I'm I'm always covering scars. Oh, see, and I'm always fixing colors because I don't sleep with my two children. So you know, so I you, look like I, I'm like a walking zombie here. <laughs> so you're saying if I want to cover a dark spot, I should do it on top of the skin because it's color. Okay, so that little dark spot right there gets hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I have a little mole right there, and then I have a little dark spot right there. The dermatologist won't take off. And one right there, he won't take off. And then this black scar that I got from falling on asphalt when I was a kid, 22 years old. And that black scar from falling on asphalt, okay, I'm putting it all in the right place. Now, my other scars, this one here, I went through the windshield, 150 stitches here and here. And I don't even cover those because the first thing I realize about an old scar is the more you mess with it, the redder it is. So just leave it alone. And then I have this new scar right here where I had uh, skin cancer. And it's about an inch and a half long. It goes right here. And I sometimes cover it, but I find sometimes if I just leave it alone, it looks better. So that's something to consider too. I did not realize, see, I used, I did not know to do what you're saying. So yeah, now it's better. And you saw where I put the concealer is placement is key for it. So um, you saw that I put the concealer starting up, I'll, I'll point with my eyebrow pencil. So I put it here and here. So if you have a wider nose, I have a wider nose, and everyone's like, your pictures look totally different than you in person. It's because of the placement of the concealer. Okay. So if you have a wider nose, you run that concealer all the way down to your, to your nose. So you start off here and you spread that product up to here, and that will make your nose look a lot more narrow. Because remember, Makeup is light and shade. Yes. That's why they have Lighting a li- That's why they have uh, palettes called shade and light palettes. That's all your face. Okay, so I want to try this. When you have a narrow nose, you don't even need that. Oh, I have a long, skinny nose. That's for <laughs> sure. But I, I saw what you did underneath your eyes. So what did you show me? How you did so, that? So for very little product. So the more mature you are, less concealer you want to use because it's gonna show yeah. creases and lines mm-hmm. and wrinkles. And, and, I, that's and I don't have color under my, I don't have dark spots on Here, my try eye. this one. You, you don't do a brush with concealer. Okay, good. So you Especially just under the eye. And you look up when you put concealer because if you're looking forward and you put concealer on, all you're doing is putting it into the, to the fine lines. Okay. So, so you, you want it to up. set up while you have no fine lines. 
okay. So Fake it till you make it. <laughs> so you look up to hide your fine lines yeah. or, or to stretch them. Well, basically. to make sure that the makeup goes inside the fine lines. Because wow. haven't you seen people where they're talking to you and like they're cakey right in the fine lines mm-hmm. because they don't look up? Wow. Okay. Isn't that good news? Mm-hmm. Look up for your redemption draws nigh. God's always talking to us. Yay! Awesome, awesome. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them because I will ask Stephanie to tell you. <laughs> All right, that does look better. Now, I do a little something with a shadowing, which I'm not even sure I brought that out here. I didn't. I didn't bring my shadowing. And I, I, I put here and here. So if you brought yours, I'll use yours. And I do that down my nose, the bridge of my nose because that's how I was taught to do it. Um, 40 years ago and it I narrows my nose even more so and then it also gives me back gives me back my high cheekbones that I've lost with age as I've lost volume but that also you face. have to be careful my nose is long so you putting shade down here is only gonna make your nose look ten times longer right and, well I have to stop a little bit and then I have to make sure this is not darkened so you have to be careful where you put it. And if you put too much, it's horrible. So it's better to put none, right? Yeah. That's too much. So let, a question. Actually, if you guys are on, tell me hmm, two things you can't, like if you had to only pick two makeup things that put on your face, which one would you do? Mine would be mascara and my eyebrows. Uh, if you could only bring two makeup products. If I could only do two makeup products, I would probably bring this little primer you gave me. Um, because it's called They're Real. I, di- I want another one of this one, by the way. I've already used this I one. Love this guy. Um, it's called Tinted Primer, and what I've learned is before I do my Bible study, I do two things. I take this tinted primer, and I do just what I just did to my eyebrows. I just brush them, and then I take the tinted primer, and I put it on my lashes, and then I put lipstick on. So I would take this and lipstick. That's the two things I would do. Yeah, you're a lipstick girl. I'm a lipstick girl because I'm kind of one color. Mm. And so if I don't have lipstick on, I look washed out. So that's Lisa Beck it. said mascara and moisturizer. Oh, she's smart. Ah. She thought of her skin. Yes, yeah, she, and she's a nurse. Yeah, see, so. she's smart. And it's a barrier to anything. It is. Yeah. It Mas- is. I know, mascara, I can't. That's my number one is mascara. Mm-hmm. Because the- it just, like, you look dead without mascara. Mm-hmm. It's like, where'd my eyes go? <laughs> I have to agree with Lisa. DJ, mascara, and brassy, we think alike. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. my thing. It changes yeah. your whole face. It does. Well, you have a great eyebrows. Tell me, see, my eyebrow, I want my eyebrows to be like yours. Well, my eyebrows are fake. I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> my eyebrows are microbladed. Mm-hmm. I needed them because I had four little hairs, and then when I had kids, <laughs> I had one little hair. So, I mean, it was just like flying with the wind, and it just looked a little crazy. So, I got the microbladed. I love it. And, oh, my gosh. It's amazing. And then when I put makeup on, I put a little more shade. So, they're a little bolder right now, only when I put makeup on. But when they're off, like I don't have makeup on, having your brows done, it, like, changes your whole face. I haven't done it, but I want oh, to. Oh, it's amazing. I want to, but I have caterpillars over my eyes already. So, they would have to really No, they can work. They, they work with you. <laughs> but, yeah, micro. Chapstick is a close second. DJ, then that means you have dry skin, huh? Am I right or am I wrong? She's, you're right. She has dry skin. Yeah. Because I, I like this makeup. I told you. I really do. And it looks very like I don't have makeup on. Yes, because it's the hyaluronic acid. I love it. Keep it if you like it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Thank you. I'll so then, the um, so like you said, like you saw, I did the shade of my eyebrows. And then I put concealer to outline my eyebrows. Then they look super clean and crisp because sometimes I don't have time to like be plucking the little eyebrows with my kids so I just conceal that and just pretend I don't have those extra eyebrows so you put concealer right below because look look how it looks perfectly shaped it's that concealer oh my gosh so you used this yeah and I get a little flat brush okay it's easier for me to show you like that so Mm -hmm. it's a little flat brush and I will put 
do it just to a me. little bit. Show it and show them. Well, the make. thing is, I have to work a lot with yours because yours I are thinner a, eyebrows, and I have a lot of hair. Not no, no, it's not the hair. Oh, okay. It's how thin they are. So you I would have to, to draw a lot more. Oh, okay. Well, then don't do it. <laughs> I don't like anything that takes a lot of time. I can't spend a lot of time doing my makeup because I don't have a lot of time. Oh, Lisa, you're so sweet. But they were fake when you met me. <laughs> so I can't She's take right. that out. <laughs> she said, your brows are gorgeous. Are you serious? Seven years? Yeah, when you met me, I had a ready mic with my <laughs> eyebrows. So I paid money for them to I look good. It. But you were good with, with um, putting them putting them on before. I was, but it takes yeah. forever. Mascara yeah. takes me the longest out of everything. Brows and mascara. Yeah, me too. I just... Because I go back and I put mascara again, and I put it again, and yeah. I put it again. So then this is uh, CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. This is amazing for like mom who has long eyebrows. I do it because right now what's in style is a feathery eyebrow. So I actually want to look like I'm a little hairy in my eyebrows because I have to pretend. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, you, so this you... is like gel, colored gel for your eyebrow oh, hair. Can, I want to try yeah. That. Okay. And great, it great, stays great. in place all day. It's like yeah. hairspray. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh no, but I got it done before me, Elisa. That's why. Cheryl and Stephanie, what is the name of your foundation? So, um, mom's using two good ones that she has here is Makeup Forever, the stick. Phenomenal. Yeah, I love it. It, it depends what you're going for. If you want a little more heavy coverage, these are not it. So, um, Makeup Forever is not super heavy coverage, and Too Faced Born This Way are amazing. Um, if you want heavier coverage, let me think. Oh, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's fabulous, and it stays on all day. Mine is a drugstore. It's L'Oreal. Why can't L'Oreal. I talk? <laughs> L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear, and mine's in the shade Linen, and that's from the drugstore. If I am going day to day, like I said, that app that tells you all the dirty ingredients, because I don't wear makeup every day, I will use Kosas. Kosas is a natural beauty line. I love them. And this is a tinted face oil. So it has all the benefits of a face oil, but it's tinted and it does a lot of coverage. So I will wear this every day. Now why a face oil? Because what people think is if you deal with acne or really anything, but people who, especially with acne or sensitive skin, they think the best thing I can do is strip the oil because that's what's causing my acne. That makes your Horrible. face produce more oil. Yeah, oil combats oil. Mm -hmm. If you are oily, you will use oil so it tells your brain you don't need to produce so much oil. Right. My skin is super sensitive, like I said, and I create a lot of oil in my T-zone. So I love an oil because then my brain will tell my body, oh, you don't you need have, any more oil. You have plenty of oil. And if you're dry, oil is your best friend. Right. Oil is amazing. Yeah. The best oil you can use, and I know this even with my kids who have eczema, is jojoba oil. Everyone says, like, um, what's the big one they always say? It's, I don't know, I can't even think of it right now. I think it's it's something they all tell you. Coconut oil, that's what it is. I use coconut Horrible oil. Horrible for people with sensitive and uh -huh. and eczema. The worst oil you can use. Right. My daughter, or my, son, my son's first off super allergic to coconut yeah, oil. Yeah, he is. But my daughter who has eczema, if you put coconut oil, you might as well just put, like, gasoline on her. Uh -huh. It's horrible. See, I use it on my legs. But I, nobody else could, and I won't even recommend it to you. But if I blend it with some um, cocoa butter okay. and coconut oil together, and then you just do, put it in your blender and just blend it, and then I use that on my legs, but my legs are super dry. Yeah. Where I've taken care of my face for years, so my face doesn't even act dry, even though my skin type is. But because I've taken such good care of it and a, a great exfoliant, that helps me not be so dry. Too, oh. you know? So yeah, Lisa, if you have horribly oils, oily skin, get jojoba oil. Spell All it. natural. Spell it. I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Um, they have some at Sprout, anywhere you go, but make sure it's cold press. That's like the key one. And put that at nighttime. I guarantee you, you will thank me because mm -hmm. it is the best thing for your skin. And don't forget that any skincare you use, you always go down to your decollete. Take, Never, most people forget they stop right here. Take care of this. This is where you see your age the most. Mm -hmm. Take care it's of this right here. and take care of this. Yeah. This, this fights me more than anything because I probably forgot it years ago when I wasn't worrying about it. 
but this this is still so important because if I wear anything that's not up to here, this is going to show my age before this will because I've taken better care of this. Now I'm taking better care of this and trying to take care of this, but now I have to cover a lot. Yeah. Okay, now for bronzer, what I'm using is Nude Sticks. Nude Sticks, again, more mature skin. Creams. Creams are your best friend. During summer months, I always use a cream, but during winter, I use powder because... I don't have really fine lines. Thank you, Jesus. That's but right. Thank God. <laughs> but um, so Nude Sticks, I love, I have their little sample. You can get samples too, which I like. So then you're not committing to a full size and it's it's expensive, you know. And so I get little samples. I'm definitely going to buy this one though. This is their little blush. And what I like about them is they also think, I call them two furs, you know. It's like, it's not just for one thing. It's like multiple it covers things. two things, yeah. yeah. So this one is a pencil, you'll see here. And this, I use it as a blush, as a lipstick, as a bronzer. Oh, Anything good. I want, this is it. Oh, good. Yeah, so I do this. And then this is their bronzer, same thing. Um, and right now, like, darker colors are in. So if people use this on their lips, I'm not that bold yet. But this is Bondi Babe. It's their number one seller is this, this stick right here. It's their bronzer stick. So what I'll do is I'll go here to create a fake cheekbone. Well, here. you already have a high, high I one, do, but so. just to emphasize that. And this is the best way I can describe it. You look like if you're you have, face. If you have a big forehead like me, bronzer up here hides all that. Shadow. It, it just kind of it's the diminishes shadow. it in the look. Mine's even bigger than yours. So I, I have always shadowed around the edges. I learned this in Hollywood years ago. And then I always, I've done it here though. Where you go a little higher than me, so. Yeah, because remember, when you're going to use anything, it's going to go lower. Okay. And then that's when it starts look, looking muddy, is okay. when you start too low. Okay. Well, and I've always used a powder, so it, it stayed where I put it. But I'm, I'm watching you because I want to try this. Hi, Laura. Laura Schaefer is oh, on. Oh, hi, Laura. Hi. I love you. I miss you so much. Mia told me, they're all from Michigan mostly. Lisa's Yay. not, but, uh, and Delinda's not, but. Mia even told me she wanted to go on an airplane to Michigan. She oh, misses I know. it She's so bad over there. So much. Um, and then I put the bronzer. Like I said, I have a wider nose, so I'm hiding, <laughs> and the tip of your nose. So if you have a short nose, you go all the way down. If you have a long nose, you don't need that line. Mm -hmm. So I just start here. So you can try that too. All right, I'm watching you. I feel you know I'm I am Cherokee and uh, DJ. You have eczema. Ugh. She does. It's, it sucks. So, yeah, do jojoba oil. And then when you do the bronzer, you want to make sure you're putting that bronzer up to your hairline. Okay? Um, yeah, eczema, really. My daughter had the worst case of it. She actually didn't even know she had hands till nine months Bless because we had to wrap her hands. And it got so bad. We had to wrap her hands because we thought, oh, we're not going to take it that extreme. But... One time, you know, I was so tired with her, and um, I fell asleep for like literally 10 minutes, and I woke up, and her whole sheets were bloody from yeah. her scratching, and yeah. it was like oozing with blood from the eczema. So we had to wrap her hands, and at nine months, she was just like, oh my gosh, I have fingers. <laughs> I have fingers. It was she so was like, sad. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, I, I trust me. I understand. Yeah, perfect. I didn't do the nose, because you said don't. Yeah, you don't need it. It's long, but it's thin, so. <laughs> Um, now I'm watching you. So you just blend it in then. Now do I use this one? Yes. Okay. Do I need to put water on it? Yeah, you got to soak it with water and then a towel after. I'll be right back. Oh, you can use this. Use your brush for okay. right now. Yeah. I'm a brush girl. Yeah. It's just habit. And I am, I use a little, um, I go in a circle. But no, but no swiping motion. You take off product. Okay. So, so it's a pat motion. It's a with pat. Yeah. Always. Okay, good. So just pat. Pat, pat, pat. See, those are good questions I missed. Um, so, anyways, DJ, jojoba oil is your best friend. Um, the thing we learned the, the hard way is do not use a steroid. It's actually horrible for you. Horrible. I actually have a friend, her son, literally, her his body organs shut down because of too much steroids. So, oh, well, he wound up in Loma Linda. Yeah, he was in time. ICU. So, please don't use steroids. There are better alternatives. Um, the other thing I like too is um, there's a brand called Tubby Todd. 
It also has a base of jojoba oil, amazing for eczema. So that's a good one as well. Good. Yeah, the eczema was a big learning curve, wasn't it, honey? Oh, when you wish you yeah. hadn't have gone through, but so many people have had to go through it. So it's been so good because you are a researcher extraordinaire. Yeah. And so you did so much research and you helped so many people. And thank God they're both a lot better. Yeah. You just and DJ, no dairy or eggs. Mm -hmm. Number one eczema thing is it is what you eat. No dairy and eggs. That is going to be the best thing. See, Lisa is a nurse, so she's even saying steroids are horrible. It is. And the outcome and the uh, problems with steroids, I mean, I, I immediately revert back to what our daughter with a brain tumor had to have with steroids. And thank God for those. It kept her alive for a little while. It kept the brain from swelling. But the extreme side effects that had she lived, it would have taken... If I'm not re if I'm not mistaken, I've tried to forget a lot of these things. It would have taken a year for every week she was on the steroid for it to get out of her system. Wow, that's crazy, isn't it? So I mean, it would have been years before her the side effects would have been out of her system. So, uh, Lisa, you're asking suggestions for gray hair. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, you mean coverage? Because if it's coverage, I got mom into it. There's a spray. I think L'Oreal makes it right, or Neutrogena. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, oh, well, you're shoot. using the dry shampoo, but there's yeah. another one. And it's um, it's a spray, and literally, if you don't have time to go to somebody to get your hair done, you just spray it, and it just shoots out the color of your hair. So, for instance, if you had, like, my hair root is dark, I would, they have different cans of different hair colors. You would pick your hair color that you want, ideally, and then you just literally, like, dry shampoo. I wish I brought my dry shampoo to show you. You just spray it, let it sit for 30 seconds, and then rub it into like that. And it hides all your gray hair. Yeah, you got me into that when, you know, I couldn't go back to the salon. And I was over four months from, and, and my hair was growing out, and I have gray. And so I used the brown. Now, I don't wash my hair uh, that often. So every time I would wash my hair, of course, the gray would be shining, shining. And I would use what Stephanie got me was, it was just a dry shampoo with a light brown in it. And so I would just use the light brown, like right now I've got, I've got white in it because we just dyed it, but I, this was all gray. So I just used the light brown and it covered the gray. And then on the top, I, got, I wasn't using it on the top in the beginning, but I got to where I had to. So I would just barely just spray it over the top, wait just a minute, and then, whoo, but then you have to wash your hands because it's on your hands. So I, it worked great, I thought. I mean, it really helped me extend uh, while I couldn't get my hair colored. Yeah. She said it's the application. So the applications is, um, like mom did, use a brush. Mm -hmm. uh, they're called, the best brush is called a kabuki brush. That's mm -hmm. your best friend. Well, so get a kabuki them. brush and do your hair like that because then you have more control of where it goes. So like for instance, if let's just pretend this is a kabuki brush, you would literally outline where you want and then not touch your gray hair. I used my kabuki brush and, yeah. and I, I took it out of here because I wasn't going to be using it today. But then I would just put it in and then I would just do, 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 do with the kabuki brush and that way it didn't get on the blonde. So it was great. It really, it, it made me feel more confident while I had to wait. And I'm, you know, I'm going live every day. So I wanted to make sure yeah. I didn't look completely gray. And then, uh, Laura, the Nude 6 is Bondi Babe. That's, you, it, will, it will fit your skin shade for sure. Bondi and, Babe. And um, the blushes, all the blushes are so good there. Um, this is the one that I use. It's called Sweet Peach Peony. You can try it too. All right. Um, so whatever you want. I also have, um, I use this and another shade for a lipstick too. And I have to look it up, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and then... Um, DJ, I, I think was it Lisa or DJ that said her skin was oily. Oh so gosh, I'm about that. to do um, eyeshadow. What I did, you saw how I did the concealer and I went like this and pat it out. That residue that I had the concealer, you don't want to apply more concealer. That residue that I had on the sponge, I put it on my eyelids as a base because a lot of people, like myself, have a lot of veins in their eyelids. And when you put an eyeshadow, it doesn't look really good because you have all those veins behind it. So if you put that residue of the concealer on your eyelid, it will give like a blank canvas for you to do your thing. And I like the Dose of Colors one because I don't need to put on powder on top. But if you have more mature skin 
or dry skin, the NARS, um, I use the shade Custard. The NARS concealer and the stick is amazing for dry skin, but you have to put a powder on top of it to have it set. And like I said, you look up when you set it up and make sure it goes into the fine lines. But same thing, those concealers you can use, they have um, eyeshadow primers. Instead of buying that, like I said, it's more affordable to use your actual concealer as your primer than buying another product mm -hmm. for a primer. And then what I do is, what people don't tell you is once you put that primer, have you ever noticed that when you're putting your eyeshadow, um, sometimes, like if you start off here, here, and then you have a big old chunk right there of the pigment, it's because you didn't put a base color. So um, Makeup Geek, there's even one I got at the dollar store. I'll put it, I'll look at home, and then I'll put it down in this description bar once we're done with this so you guys can look back and see which ones I'm talking about. But the one that I use is from Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek is a lot more affordable. They actually carry them at Target, and it's just as high quality as MAC. Oh, and so good. I use creme brulee or a peach smoothie. So I'll go with my eyeshadow brush and just put it all over my lid. So when I put my other shadows, it doesn't just smack down right to where your first application is. It glides better. That sounds It blends great. a lot easier. That sounds great. Yeah, so Lisa, for you, concealer would be good. They also have um, Anastasia Beverly Hills has an eye sh an eyeshadow primer that's really good. It, may, it stops them from going there. How long does this spray stay in your hair, or do you have a spray every morning? Thanks for these. So, so no. Michelle, ev it depends. Well, no, for you because you have dry scalp. Oh, yeah, I don't. So I, I it don't depends. ever have to add it but again. If you wash your hair every day, you have to do it every day. Every time you wash. Every time you wash. Yeah. You know, so. And if and if you have oily hair, hair, it may start absorbing it, so you may have to reapply. I, I have dry hair. So I never have any oil. So I put it on when I wash, and then I don't put it on again till I wash again, unless I have exercised and sweated, and yeah. then I have to reapply before. But that's, you know, again, that's just me. And then for eyeshadows, Mom is, and actually this, this is mine too. Um, I've gone this. through probably four of these palettes, and I, I don't go it. through these palettes. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. This is probably their number one. So if you have blue eyes, green eyes, even me, I have brown eyes. These are phenomenal for all that. But especially if you have blue or green eyes, browns, mm -hmm. nudes, uh, golds. They're uh, amazing. They're the, your best friend. When I see girls, and if you wear it, hey, it makeup's for fun, you know? Just but whatever you like. If you, oh, I'm trying to say this nicely. If you Try to stay away from treat. blue eyeshadows or purple eyeshadows if you have blue or green eyes because the best colors to complement your blue or green eyes are browns, uh, golds, anything bronzy and warm. Key word, warm. You want to do friend. the opposite of what you are yes. because otherwise it won't make your eyes pop. Yeah. So if you have blue eyes and you wear a blue eyeshadow, now you're just all blending together. Right. So you want to, I, I just put a neutral, I use this tempera, and I put it all over yeah, like I'm painting can a canvas. That. You can do that. And then uh, if I'm going to put almost nothing else, I'll use a little dusty rose. And my eyes So are, she's saying the name of the eyeshadow. Right, uh, the color. So that's why she's saying dusty rose. So if you buy that palette, you know exactly where she's placing everything. Right. And that little dusty rose, see, I'm just putting just a little. And because I'm older, now when I was younger, I put a lot more eyeshadow. But now my eyes can be tend to be heavy because I have a lot of space between my eye lashes and my brow. And so if I tried to cover all that up, I would look like a goon. So I just I do a palette of, of just a neutral. And then I just do a little bit of a fan and I don't I never put anything on my lid. But now that's because of me, that I grew up in a different era. And I'm, all I'm trying to do is keep my eye open because as I get older, this wants to shrink and this wants to hang, hang down heavy. So I'm trying to keep anything from making my eye look like it's drooping or like I'm hooded. Does that make sense? So as you can see now, I have just a little dusty rose. Over and here. it's good for you to see because we had totally different eye shapes. I have hooded eyes and she has deep set eyes. Mm -hmm. So eyeshadow is going to look 10 times better on her than it is going to be on me because her eyes are like, I can't even 
pretend I have your <laughs> eyes like, like, you can see <laughs> I have all face. this face. You can see her eyelids face. For me, you can't. So I have to pretend. So what I do is I, I look in the eyes. mirror and I have to look straight into the mirror and apply the eyeshadow as I'm looking straight because so many people with hooded eyes, they're like doing their eyeshadow like this, but once you open it, it's all gone. Yeah. Like, so you it's, have to pretend mm -hmm. like you're looking in the mirror and then apply it towards the mirror like if your eyes are completely open. And pretty much with everything, especially eyes, but everything, everything, every stroke, every movement should be going up. Because what do you want? You're trying to, uh, you're trying to present an illusion of upward, not downward. So you never ever, uh, pull down you never ever put your makeup on coming down never do your eyes coming down always upward everything's got to be upward that way um, especially when you're in your 60s you just don't want to have a lot of uh, of heaviness in the eyes so my mom's are so much more deep set than mine I wish and and I she's like you can't even see my eyes anymore because she's 87 and so what we have to be careful, and that's why the lighter color works better, so that I don't look heavy. I just want to look light and bright. And I even use that, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I even use that little, um, I was using Tempera, which is the lightest shade. I even take it right here and I just pat it right here because I want to make sure I look open. And I don't know if you can tell the side I've done and the side I haven't done, but it looks like this eye is so much more open than this one. And it's all because of just a very simple little lighter colors that I'm putting to, to open up my eye. And just, it's an illusion, but it works. And the eyeshadow that I'm doing is called the Halo Eyeshadow. And Celinda, I will put the products up in the description bar once we're done. Um, I will put them in the description bar. So if you put the little arrow underneath where it says subscribe you're going to push a little arrow that's looking downward you push that arrow and then it's a description bar i will write all but list of products that we are using right now what i'm doing is um a halo eyeshadow effect so for instance i don't really like super um like a smoky eye like a dark smoky eye so i pretend i manipulate my eye to look a little more open like hers so what i do is and crystal can you zoom me in for a little bit um, what I do is I put the dark shade right here and right here, right here and right here, right? So I use, um, in this palette, it was rustic, so this one here. And then in the middle, I use a flat brush. This one is the brush that I use. If you use glitters or any of that, this is a brush, I hate to say you need, but you do need, is the MAC. 240 this is how you know I've used this so much 242 <laughs> you can't find it. and you just get I got that bronzer and what I did I stamped it in it's in the center middle and that will make your eyes look a lot more open also if you want your eyes to be a lot more open is put that cream or white eyeliner inside of your eye like this inside there I don't know what it's called mom what is it called help me here oh <laughs> on this part of your eye right here yeah on like end, where you put your eyeliner inside your, your eye bottom inner lid yeah so there you put like a cream or white eyeliner and your eyes will look like they're so awake and i've done that before you can zoom me out crystal please. when you have morning you're in the morning and your eyes just won't adjust or wake up quick enough that little bit of white right in here will really help bring that um it makes you it's an illusion but it makes you look like your your eyes are wide open so uh, you don't look so sleepy eyed. Also, another thing is if you don't wear a lot of makeup, I see people do this too. If you have blue or green eyes and you don't wear a lot of makeup, this actually goes for any color. If you don't wear a lot of makeup, waterline DJ, thank you. That's exactly what it's called. Um, thank you. If you don't wear a lot of makeup and all you use is eyeliner on the top lid, never use black. That is way too harsh. Always a dark brown, way too harsh. Right, and and if you don't want to look like you have on makeup, just don't don't hardly use any eyeliner because that'll make you look really natural. Now I do my morning lives with the Bible studies, and I like I said I put lipstick on and a little um, what do you call that primer? The little primer here. I use it on my eyebrows and my lashes, but I don't put on uh, eyeliner because I want you to feel like I just got up because I did. I just got up, and and if if you want to look made up, then 
put on liner. And I'm the worst because I'm old school. I don't like another color, especially when my eyes are blue. I know the brown would look better, but I'm black. So I've been using because black. Because you wear so eyeshadow. I wear eyeshadow. If you don't wear eyeshadow, it's too harsh. Well, if I don't wear eyeshadow, I would never put a That's what I'm saying. But people do. Oh. And that's when you don't use black. And oh. some people can get away with it. Like, Laura Schaefer has the biggest princess eyes. She does. Like I, always, Mia. I tell her all the time, you must, like, wake up to birds, like, chirping <laughs> in the morning. Like, she, because she's, like, always so pretty. Yeah. You know, she's just really pretty in general. But she, she has these like the gorgeous eyes. Cinderella. She could get away with a dark brown eyeliner, and that's it, because she has such big eyes. Yeah. And they're, they're like saucers. Yeah. So you can do that. Yeah. But you probably don't even need eyeliner. When your eyes are that big. Now, I don't do a lot because the older I've gotten, the less I do. I don't do any because I have hooded lashes. That's all you would see is my eyeliner. Mm -hmm. That's true. And that's, I never use an eyeliner. If I want to look like I have makeup on, I, and, I, and I only... <laughs> so Linda said, please don't mess with my black eyeliner. <laughs> well, see, I've got my black eyeliner. It's for fun. Makeup is fun. So you do whatever you want to do. Just try and, and smudge it. And if you feel good about it, yeah. I, I have used all kinds of different products, and mostly because people give it to me. And because almost everything I have, somebody gave to me, because I'll go to the Lord and say, now, Lord, I don't mind buying... I don't mind buying my mascara, but if you want to bless me, have somebody send it to me. So I wear a lot of things people send me. But when it comes down to my eyeliner, I can only find one that I consistently go back to. And you're going to laugh, but it's Maybelline. Really? It works the best for me. And I, because I cry a lot, and I'm ministering a lot, and I'm moving a lot. And uh, Judy gave me a liquid one, but it's too heavy for my eye. I've tried it. What's ha it's hard to work with a liquid on. You have to be really good. And I'm not good. I'm 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 not. No one's good in the beginning. Mm -mm. And and I have done it and I've used it, but I feel like my eyes look more closed than open. So I keep going back to um, my little black Maybelline uh, Unstoppable Eyeliner Pencil, and my I use Onyx Celinda, and but it comes in lighter colors too. And I like it because I can just simply put it on and it doesn't look heavy. I already have it on and I only do, I only do, I'm, again, I'm a little old school, but I only do half of the underneath of my eye because I find it makes my eye look more open. So, and, and then when I go across the top, I just barely put it in the center. I don't put much and then I put more, what little bit I'm going to put on the outside. And then I'm already on mascara. I got this new mascara. It's amazing but I don't know how it works in humid area but um this mascara is the new Huda Beauty mascara and it is um double-ended so this is for if you need a curl and you want to lengthen your eyelashes and then this side is a different um brush head and that's for volume I actually use both of them and I love this one and what I do always is you always want to shake that mascara in the root of your eyelashes some people would just do this, and then that's how you get those little spiky eyelashes. You want to make sure you're really hitting the root of the eyelash. And then you see that, you saw how, look at, oh, I wish I could show you. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference in the eyelashes right now? And that's just the curl and length. And then I haven't even done the volume on that um, thing. I, it depends on what climate. So like, I also love the hourglass um, caution mascara but Laura was telling me that it um, flakes off but she lives in Michigan where it's humid so I wouldn't oh, know yeah. that where I have no humidity here so it doesn't flake off on me but if you live in a dry climate I love that hourglass caution mascara and then see so now I'm going on the volume side and what's that mascara called Huda Beauty oh that's Huda okay is that the Huda on TV no. Different Huda. Okay. okay. Look. Look at the difference. Oh, it's amazing. I want you to do that Isn't too. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's it's amazing. This mascara. That's amazing. My eyelashes are long, but you, this is amazing. Your eyelashes are very long. <laughs> Colby says, I'm not quite sure why I'm watching this, being a guy, but wow, I never knew makeup was so technical. <laughs> Boy, it is technical. Very. And you should be watching this so you can surprise Morgan with oh, it. Oh, yeah. She would be so pretty. Yeah. 
So okay. just take notes. Okay, I want to use, tell me what you did with this. So I'll, I'll do this eyelash. Okay. So I go on the curl and length one. Curl and length first. Okay. And again, I noticed that you're telling them, don't just do the tips. Make sure you get on wiggle. inside. Wiggle. Wiggle is your key thing, wiggle. And I learned And what one. I like about this mascara too, is it even has a brush on the tip of the thing, so mm -hmm. you can get like the inside or the lower ones if you can't mm -hmm. get to them. Yeah, I always use the tip of my mascara as much as I use the curve of my mascara. But this one has specifically spikes it going does. up. It does, which is great. Yeah, I make shift what even isn't there because it's important. But you have big eyes, that's why you can afford me. If I have a hooded lash and I put the end of a mascara, it's just like oh. right to the eyelid. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I can do it. And I'll go, especially corners, here and here. Which, to me, that's what makes your eyes look really like you've got great lashes, is, is if you hit the corners and the out, outsides. Lisa, you're right. That's why I say eyebrows and mascara are key, especially while we're wearing masks. Sometimes I look like a crazy person because all I do is my eyeshadow, my mascara, and my eyebrows, and then I take off that mask and it's like, whoa, what happened? You know what I mean? Well, hey, right now that's all you have to do. Though. Yeah. It's sad, but it's true. I'm gonna try that. Okay, so you do, you, you do the the Which, length first. Okay, curl and length first. All right, good job. Curl and length. All right here. Yeah. Oh wow, I like that already. But I've already got it on. And when now I want a little bit of color. We're almost done. So um, I use just summer months. I use MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. I tap it very little on my Morphe M527 brush. Tap very little right here. And the reason why I picked this only for the summer is because it has a shimmer in it. So it's not like a true bronzer. It's more of a giving light to your face. Like I said, key word is shade and light. Now, of course, um, I don't take this long doing my makeup. I've got this down to a T. Well, so I'm talking. done in and out in 20 minutes max. That's about what it takes me, but I spend a lot of time on my face before I start my makeup. I, I, I do my new face device. I do my, um, uh, I do the red LED. All while I'm praying, studying for my Bible study. I, I'm a multitasker, so... Now see, I've already got that makeup everywhere. So now I'm gonna have to go back and apply just a little bit of the cream color um, uh, eyeshadow just to cover up where I wiped it off. Because I'm not used to, this is a brand new brush for me. And it really gets mascara on your lashes. Wow. I know, I told you, it's amazing. I wow. forgot my um, lipstick. See, oh. that's how you know I'm not a lipstick girl. I don't. I, that was the last thing on my mind. Was and lipstick. I took out twenty, just to bring this over. <laughs> I have a lot, but I don't use it. I I'm a love, nudes girl, and you're like a bright girl. And I just took out all my nudes because, you know, I was not wanting to. I knew I wouldn't be using them, and I needed those slots for something else. So. That's just, that's just the one end, so far. Can you see the difference? That's just the one end, and, and like Sis says, you gotta get up next to your. Laura said, I love your wiggle tip. My bottom lashes are touch the skin under my eyes. Yeah, because you have long lashes, girlfriend, yes, with mascara, does. and it, it tends to give me a dark shadow that I constantly have to wipe off, and then how do I keep them from happening? Um, that actually happens to me, too. That's why, um, I hate saying this. I have a separate mascara usually for my bottom lashes. It's um, Mac Giga Back Mac Giga Back Eyelash Mascara, and it's like a tiny little wand, so it doesn't happen. And it's specifically for your bottom lashes. I do do that, but with this um, mascara, I actually use the curl and length one. And what you could do for that is um, you can put some transition powder or um, any kind of powder that's like a doesn't have any color and just pat it in here so I don't have powder here and I, I wish either. I could show you so then you like would put a bunch of powder like just pretend this is my powder and you would just go like this stamp it in where you get so much powder put it underneath your eye put your mascara on so then if it does transfer it goes onto the powder and then 
and then we wipe it off like that. I'll show you next time. I have to watch when I'm putting mascara on, my eyes start to water. So I, that's just an issue for me. And I don't think everybody's is that way, but I find some mascaras make my eyes water worse than others. So then I'm fighting, you know, I'm putting it on and now I'm trying wiping it off because I'm my eyes are watering. So And then that deep color that I put on my eyeshadow, that brown, I run it with this brush, the Morphe E18. And Morphe E anything is a fantastic line of brushes that are affordable. The E. I think it's like code for expensive because that's what they feel like. Are, but, they expen are they expensive? No, they're really affordable. Wow. But that E line of Morphe, all the E brushes are fabulous. So I use the E18. I get that dark shade that I was using in that soft glam palette. And I just literally just run it like this and connect it to the top of my eye, my eyeshadow. Well, I just have on the, the first of the... I told you, look at your eyelashes. Yeah. They're and that's, huge. That's just the first yeah, I layer. Even put on this yet. Yeah. So, and then um, I forgot lipstick. So what? I'm gonna improvise. So I'm just gonna get a darker shade and use eyeshadow as my lipstick for right now. I've never done that before. Wow. I am a girl that likes my uh, eyeshadow, my lipstick to stay on forever because I talk and I'm in front of people and I'm speaking. So I love that. Um, if Now just, I don't wear it every day, but for when I'm preaching, I like that Scentsy. I did have a dark one of that one, I just took it out. But it, it stay on, and it stays on all day. But if, if you don't, I don't know, you've gotta love that, because once it's on, it's on, right sis? Yeah. And it burns a little, so some people are like, does it burn when you put it on? Yes, it does. And I don't know why. So there, there's eyeshadow. I am good. You put eyeshadow on your... No, I don't. I just didn't have anything, so I had to improvise. Which you did today. Yeah. Could you have put that little uh, cool that you did for blush? Because you said some people do that. I did do that, but then I don't like pink on my lips. Oh, yeah. I like a nude, so... You've got those beautiful lips. Well, I overdraw them, too. Well, I oh. have to do that or I won't have any because as I've gotten older, they've gotten less. So, all right, I'm putting the volume on and it's not taking much to be too much. You know what I mean? So, so if you guys have any questions, we are going to wrap it up. If you could just put in your questions before we go, then I can answer them or mom can answer them. Well, I defer to the queen over here of the makeup because I am just I'm always learning and that's another thing that if you want to stay current in life you have to always want to be learning um, there's I could keep doing it the way I did it 40 years ago but I'd look like it and so you want to be current like Stephanie and, and was and Roman were on me about updating my hair a little to stop doing the chunkies and so it's really taken a lot for me to change but I, I did this week and so I like it a lot better so I'm a little more current, and but staying current is important. It, it not you don't have to be trendy. You may not be wanting to be trendy, but stay current and pay attention. And if somebody's doing something, try it. Right, sis? Yeah. You can try it. If it doesn't work or you don't like it, you don't have to do it again. Right? Just try it. I put a little base on my lips, and then I put some more color because I like color. So, I don't see any more questions. I think we are good as of right now. Like I said, I will put the product information down below if you guys want to talk about something else specifically. That'd be awesome. Um, I love you, Selena. I love you, Lisa. I love you, DJ. I love you, Laura. Colby, you were a trooper. Yes, Just you stay are. on. Okay, that's dedication. Now, look at the description bar and give it to Morgan for her birthday or something. <laughs> you all are great, and we appreciate you coming with us today. Keep watching our YouTube channels. We're actually going to be filming today and be posting throughout the next coming days. So I appreciate you. If you're watching Revelation with me, we've got three up for Chapter 1. I'm not going to do that as much. It'll be hopefully a video per chapter. We'll keep going with that. 
live Bible study every day. We just finished chapter 32 today in Isaiah, and we're going to keep going. So stay with us. We are really enjoying our time. And don't I have the most beautiful daughter in the whole world? She's smoking hot right now, too. Oh, okay. So <laughs> thankful. So thankful. And hey. We should I have done it before now. Oh, we should have. We should have. I'll tell you what. I didn't give birth to her, but I gave birth to her in the spirit. So pray in your daughter in loves so that you can be not just family, but friends. And rewatch this video and then get ready with us. Feel like we're getting ready together. That's what our purpose was. It's not so much for makeup today. It was, you know, a lot of us, especially during quarantine, you don't have a friend to talk to right now. Get ready with us. Put this video on. Learn with us. Start doing that. And just pretend we're right there next to you. We love you guys so much, and we can't wait to see you guys again. See you later.